In this video, we will learn some basics of ProBuilder and create a quick ArcBridge concept design entirely from scratch in Unity. So let's get started. Before we start, this video is sponsored by Ambience VR. They provide a great plugin called AT Explore. AT Explore plugin was designed to allow artists and architects to create interactive environments without worrying about coding. AT Explore provides you with a series of visual tools to manage cameras, option and interaction for all platforms. With a few clicks, you are able to create interactive environments for Android, iOS, PC, Oculus Go, Oculus Quest, and OpenVR devices. The plugin provides you with a series of pre-packaged interactions, material switching, doors, windows, and drawers opening, and a visual scripting system for customized and advanced interactions. The AD Explore team is made up of architects and computer engineers who have been dealing with ArcWiz for over four years and they constantly offer support on a specific Unity Forum page and Arch Toolkit Facebook group. They also stream technical webinars on Facebook and Twitch. For more information, click on the link in the description. Alright, let's begin. First, you need to install the ProBuilder. To install ProBuilder, go to Windows, Package Manager and search for ProBuilder Package. Then click on Install to install the package. Next, go to Advanced and click on Show Preview Packages and search for ProGrids and click on Install. Even though it's not mandatory to install ProGrids, but whenever you are working with ProBuilder, it is always recommended to install ProGrids, which makes your workflow easier in moving and snapping object around in the scene. Alright, I have opened up a fresh empty scene in Unity. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to Tools, ProBuilder and click on this ProBuilder window. This will open up ProBuilder interface. You can change the interface. If you want to use icon mode, you can just right click and choose icon mode or you can use text mode. I like this icon mode. By the way, this is not a ProBuilder tutorial. However, I will explain all the tools I'm gonna use in this video. If you want to learn more about ProBuilder, I will give a few links in the description. To create any shape, you can click on this first icon, which is called New Shape Tool, and this will create a cube. Or you can Alt click on this icon, and this will bring up a Shape Tool window with few other parameters. Here you can choose which kind of shape you want, such as sprite, cylinder, door, cone, arch, etc. So for this one, I choose cube. So to create our platform, I set the width and length to two. And for the height, I set the point one. Then click on build to finish creating this process. And now we have a platform with two meters. And by the way, you can read the dimension on the texture, which is really very helpful. So next, let's place our camera. So I select my main camera position my camera in this view and press ctrl shift f and here i press to 0 and 0 next let's add some stairs which is very easy just alt click on this new shape tool and from here change to stairs and by the way you can move the object while creating the shape so i go to object mode then i press v to snap the object while moving just like that so for the stair we want width to 2 and also depth to 2 and the step counts I will keep them 10 then again click on build to finish the building process and now we have stairs then ctrl D to duplicate this platform and again press V and move the object here let's again add some more stairs again alt click and from here choose stairs then press V to snap the object like this and this time I want 20 steps and also double the depth and height then again click on build and now we have one more pair of stairs very simple next let's fill up this space to fill this space is very easy just select this object and here you can choose different modes by the way, this is object mode, this is vertex, this is age, and this is face mode. So I choose the face mode, then select the face and move this face. But as you can see right now, it is not snapping while moving. So to enable snapping, I press Ctrl Z, then turn on this pro grids, and now your face will snap while moving. Okay. And you can change the snapping amount by clicking on this button and change the value here. For me, 0.5 is fine. But here you see that we have a problem that our faces are overlapping. 
so i select this object and in the object mode while pressing the v key i move them slightly higher and now it's perfectly fine next let's create some walls again press the alt key and click on this new shape tool while pressing the v key i move this object here for the thickness or width i set the value to 0.1 for the height i set it to 7 meters and for the length i set the 10 meters then click on build to finish the process then control d to duplicate this wall and snap this wall to the right side and now our inside is looking dark so i want to adjust my light a bit select the direction light and go into the top view and slightly rotate my direction light and also go into the lighting section and turn off this big global illumination and click on generate lighting this will bake a basic ambient lighting in our scene so that we can see our geometry while creating next let's create front and back wall again alt click new shape tool and here you can see it remember the value last time we fade in so i again move my object here and this time for the x value i set this to 2 and for the z value i set it to 0.1 then finish the building process and again press ctrl d to duplicate this wall and move this over and snap this wall here and if you want to fill up this space just select this object go into the face mode and while pressing the v key snap this face here and now our walls are ready next we need an opening here to create that select the wall and go to edge mode and select any of the edge and click on this insert edge loop tool and make sure that pro gates are turned on then move the edge here then again click on the edge and insert one more edge and this time and move the edge to the left okay next we also need to create an edge in this direction so while selecting this edge again click on insert edge loop tool and move the edge to the 2 meter height then go to face mode and select the outer faces and press backspace to delete the face then select the inner face and to extrude this face press the shift key and move this face to the outside and to again delete this face hit backspace key and now we have some light coming from this opening here now the modeling part is done let me adjust my camera a bit now let's assign some material to these objects for the material i'm going to use this concrete floor and wall material by the way this is unity particle pack i select the concrete floor and wall material and right click export package and this will collect all the texture and click on export and export the package then again come back to our main unity project and right click import package custom package and import this material package then go to the material folder and assign the floor material on the floor and wall material on the walls right now the tiling is looking too large so i go to the material and set the tiling to 0.5 and 0.5 and same for the wall material and now the tiling is looking a bit better and here you can see that the tiling is not properly aligned to the edge so to fix that issue again select the object go to tools and open up pro builder window then select the face and open up this uv editor window and here you slightly adjust the uvs to match the seam and now our texture is looking properly aligned to the edges and now our quick arc based concept design is ready in the next video we will improve lighting and add post processing to make this concept more appealing so please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notification of the next video and before wrap up i would like to thank all of my patreon supports especially hana sin conan dimidu brendan manian jb hongin mgle silas rinagal and nicolas kennedy korta if you really like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you have any queries you can always ask me in the comment section or join my discord server link is given in the description and if you are looking for advanced tutorials then please give a visit to my patreon page Patreon is a platform where you donate some amount on monthly basis and cancel any time you want. 
By becoming a Patreon supporter, you get access to my advanced tutorials and project file of some of my videos. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye bye.